Welcome in to another episode of the Leeward Islands Career Mode, taking on Barbados today in the four-day competition. Um, bit of a mixed results uh, so far, a draw and a loss. Uh, let's see how we got on here. So, obviously you guys were last here for the semi-final defeat uh, to the Guana Cricket Club by 32 runs. We got crushed by Trinidad and Tobago in the first four-day game. It's big hundreds there, Modeste, uh, 172, Piran, 118, Jaya, 113, Piran and Grant even getting some good scores into silver. It was a pretty tough day, a pretty tough game. 249 for Murray was the pick of the uh, bowl as part-timer as well. Um, two weeks of Joseph, one wicket piece for Mitchell, Spencer and Cummins on debut. Got through to 269, uh, no one getting above 50, top score of Murray of 46. Four for 70 for Boyce. 3 for 87 for Seals, and in the second innings, we didn't flare too much better with uh, Paul top scoring with 48. 4 for 74 for Boys again, very dominant display. 3 for for Durand and Seals. In the next game, we were a little bit better against the Jamaicans. Um, we got through to 3 3 7 uh, with Mitchell with a very good 117 of 154 deliveries. 56 for Spencer as well. Really recovered the innings, those two there, and Joseph and Mitchell were really good support as well. 4 for 86 for Smith, 2 for 46 for Royal, and 3 for 104 for Wallace, and a very decent effort from the Jamaica side. They were out for 211, though, with Mitchell, Race Mitchell, the international, 5 for 54, Joseph, 2 for 48, 2 for 51 for Spencer, uh, John, um, top scoring with 63. We got through to 300 for 4, we had to bat exceptionally quickly, and we did, to try and give ourselves enough time to bowl um, out Jamaica. Uh, some brilliant performances there. Paul, um, 89 of 97. Uh, very impressed by um, young Powerton Paul, actually. Six test matches for the West Indies, a ready average of 46. 87 for Andrew, of 86 deliveries, was very good as well. Another West Indian international, and Mahesh Patel, very good for the 59 there. But they batted a lot of time, 141 overs they batted out, uh, 299 for seven. Brown and John were very hard to dislodge, and so was Muhammad and uh, Mahabo. Uh, 3 for 64 for Mitchell off 43 overs. 1 for 74 of 44 for Mitchell. 26 overs for Joseph. 2 for 72 and 1 for 70 for Spencer. A game that probably slipped away a little bit there. Just um, looking at the West Indies in terms of the world rankings. They um in 7th in the Test matches. They have 8th in the One Dayers and 8th in that. So they are starting to get a wee bit better in terms of their performances. This is their current sort of squad. Uh, for some of the matches. Mitchell, of course. Gittins. Gittins has made that squad as well. He would debut if he made it in. And we've got, yeah, like a couple of... Okay, so you have to see how they go. But yeah, they're, they're in England at the moment. Uh, they've said this is three series so far. But yeah, like I said, they will get better ultimately, I think. But yeah, more importantly, let's get to the game against Barbados. Um, pretty solid looking team. A wee bit of experience on the form now. And yeah, we're going with the all seam attack. I think that'll be the way to go. Then we're going to give Cummins another game to try and impress. So, big game here against uh, Barbados. We will bat first. Let's see how well we go. So, Jamal Brown fitting um, into the opening slot. Has played a couple of test matches for West Indies as well. We've had a lot of promising cricketers come through. Shot for Foster, that's a good shot. Want to get over 300 on the board. Foster, starting to along quite nicely as well. 19 years of age, 950s, 200s. Just getting in the right exposure. Uh, Simmons has got the wicket of Foster for 12. Powton Paul win now. Powton will want to get a few runs. Press his way back into the West Indian lineup. It's a good stroke. Brown and Co as well. So both openers are out. Welsh will strike. Hayden Welsh, 36 years of age. We did, I believe, have Hayden Welsh at some point. Yeah, we did. So, but yeah, we've obviously opted not to continue on with them. Carson Murray. Another very good, very good one-day cricketer and 20-over specialist. Want to improve on that first-class average, though. Want to specialise in all forms of the game. I think chance to step up here and get some runs on the board. Just want to play some 
really positive cricket if we can and to set the tone. do just have a really good approach to just applying ourselves. It's a good shot from Murray. The Islands will be kind of happy enough with the first session if they get through and they have. 79 for two Paul 33 Murray 17. Simmons and Welsh with the wickets. Just want to play a good brand of cricket here. The inside of the bat there. Part of that and Paul find himself out for 37. Brings Jackson Andrew in. And Andrew has gone too, so double strike. Leeward Islands under the pressure. Brings the young 19 year old, uh, well, 18 year old Mahesh Patel. He's had a decent enough um, season so far. Young uh, overseas talent. Murray just about threw that away then. Really need to rely on Murray. We've got Mitchell and Spencer still to. Pop in the bat. Yeah, this is going to be a key partnership. It's just terrible um, keeping. Didn't bend down enough. So three for buys. Fell up one for 14 of his spell. has just found a wee bit of a groove now. 145 for four. That is the half century for our Carson Murray, a very important uh, 50. Now the question is, can they, can he bat on get that score that we, that we want to try and set up this game? 117 deliveries, very disciplined. Fifth 50 at the level, just with the 100 to his name at the moment. Desperate to get another 100 to his uh, test, uh, first class career. Make a claim for the West Indies. Really like this young Mahesh Patel. Just add another dynamic to the team. And is just really impressed enough just to keep some other players on the sidelines. Young bowling attack too. From line of Weaver to cast Murray um, overs. But I really want to use my uh, main seam attack as much as I can. So we're into the 40s now for Patel. Very assured at the crease. This is this is what partnerships are made of. We run a bit of a rut. Um, for Batal bringing up another 50. Second 50 of the season. It's only a short season here in the West Indies. And we maneuver that away for four. Ninety-five for four. Right above three at the moment, so it's, it's been good. Good batting. 102 for 4 after 65 over. So Murray 74, Patel 52. You got Ramon Simmons. Uh, that's done a really good job. Built up 50 um, first class wickets. It's outside the line. Going too far across there. Two eerie moments there for the Leeward Islands. But generally these two have built the partnership, played some good cricket. Oh, and it's a drop. That would have opened the game up for the Jamaicans. Oh, not the Jamaicans, the Barbados team. Played Jamaica last game. Stuck in the mine. It's gone all the way. That's a good stroke. How much is Murray going to punish them for now? 84 all time record partnership between Patel and Murray. Just a little bit 
lucky stroke there from Carson Murray. Shot from the towel, 234 now, and this partnership is just starting to take things away. Albeit with a little bit of luck in between, I think they've played reasonably well by Bados. Well, these two in particular have looked to create chances. New user record partnership for Team Leeward Islands. 245 for four. Back to 81 of 130. Patel looked quite solid and assured. Murray 94 of 204 deliveries. And is gone. We'll miss out on another ton. Disappointed with that cast, Murray. 94 done all the graft. All the good work there and has just let it slip. We're just looking to get to possibly the end of the day. Mitchell, he has been caught. It's a good wicket. Simmons continues to cause problems. Spencer in now. The bowling all around and Patel's gone too, so great late fly back from Barbados. Got both established me and out. 300. This be a fair score for the uh, Leeward Island Cricket Club. I think Spencer can contribute some runs. Of course, Spencer got that um, little deal with Ken and got a, quite a bit of cricket um, in there, so I was pretty chuffed with that. Um, picking um, him up for a signing the season. Can he contribute some valuable runs with the bat? 287 for 7 after 97. So it's been a pretty good day for both sides. But you'd think Barbados are in slight command. Pitch will cut up a little bit. And they have to bat last on it. So that's what I'm banking on. Oh, Spencer gets the wicket. Plays misses. We've got over 300. That was the first objective. 5 for 73 for Simmons and looking to add more to the um, wicket uh, tally. Got a few overs here to get them. Marley gets their life for This has been a good wee, wee punch at the start of the day. That's a good edge and that's 6 for, for Simmons. 27 off 44 for Marley and Desmond Cummins. Uh, and now in just a second match. Gonna play some good cricket strokes. I want this bowling all rounder just to get um, runs. Let's go stroke. Down the ground, four more. It's a good delivery. Bit of uh, seam movement as well. Just little partnerships with Leeward Islands on the start of day two. It's just really propelled their score to something relatively competitive. Tail was certainly wagging, and this will be frustrating for uh, the bowlers who have done a good job throughout the first day to restrict. Cummins picks that up nicely, and yeah, we're over 350 now, and this is, this is getting out of hand now. Very handy 29 off 19 uh, for Cummins. Spencer. Takes it away for four. This is a really competitive first inning score now. Keeper had letting the team down a wee bit. Look how many buys conceded. 23 extras. 11 no balls. That is just appalling. Cummins is gone. Gone for 33. We'll get that away for four. Spencer deserves a 50 for this batting pretty well with the tail and that is a magnificent 50. Second 50 of the campaign. Norman Spencer. This is just remarkable from the last couple of partnerships. Gonna be up to 3 nine. Nah, it's a drop. You've got to be kidding me. They have dropped a few chances here. Chance to get the 400. And the 400 is up. 
miserable session for Kairos. Kim Mitchell survived the over. Uh, they powered a boundary, so they definitely survived the over. Eleven for nine. Good areas. 23 minutes to go in the session. 120 for 9. We just continue to bat on. We'll get as many as we can now. Bubbles will be really amped up for this. Brilliant from um, Spencer. Not um, stem the flower runs and the the batting um, from the lower order is just gonna be a big difference in this game. You feel it? Don't think they will be able to get a win. The draw is probably their best possible result for first innings. And this just continues on. Misery being piled on here. 67 for the final wicket. 450 up. I didn't think we'd get 450 go into the second day. But here we go. So he has to go for it. Day two, 456 for a 9. 94 for our Spencer. Top score for them. And also 30 for Mitch was a top score as well. Ah, he's gone. Mitchell's gone for 31, and no one getting 100 there, but just look at those contributions from Patel down was brilliant batting, 457, and now Mitchell to McCaskey and Brathwaite. Brathwaite must be a fair age, 36 years of age, test specialist. Cummins, Let's see how Cummins goes in this their second, um, second match. Marley and Spencer coming in now. Spencer had a really good um, time with the bat. Marley, very experienced campaigner. Averages in the mid 40s. Want to get that average down. Big time. Trusting Radbert Marley to do a job and gets the wicket McCaskey. Or McCaskey. 21. Rotate back to the main sort of bowlers. Just getting in the right channels. 65 for 2 after 27. Marley 2 for 12. Want to make some good inroads in this session. Good wicket to grab. So Lyndon gone for 16. Marley oh, been exceptional in length so far, and Barbados teetering here. Smith gone for 39. Darren Smith, specialist in another form of the game. Mitchell will be out of the attack. Spencer will come back in. is the young left armour and that is paid off the wicket of hope for 34 that's a good one to get one eighty one for five this is an interesting game at the moment Cummins Cummins will just change the angle and the length a little bit 227 for 5 out to 77. Barnes 57. Gooley on 26. Carson Murray will come in for a couple of overs just to try and get the main so the guys a bit of a rest. Spencer will bowl. Um, here Murray will be out of the attack. Marley back in. Um, finally strike. Yeah, Barbados eating into that lead. 39. Brad Barnes played the seven test matches in his career too. 100 to his name. 271 for six after 90. Just a lead of 186. Not too many sessions left to um, play in this game. It looks like 
Looks like it's just teetering towards that draw at the moment, unless we can sort of fire up with the bat. Marley picking up a deserved Fifer. Really good performance from Radbert Marley. Barnes gone for under an 18. And the top scorer of the game, Brad Barnes. Just the second 100 in their career. Radbert Marley picks up the second Fifer. And this is the best bowling in an innings. Very accurate. Deadly accurate. This is seven for eight for eighty for Marley. Great spell and best all-time record for the Leeward Islands. We're going to have to sort of bat very quickly and efficiently here. I want to try and push for game. Foster gone for naught. Bat positively. Just again, the bowling is all over the shop. Brown can get in and keep going. Hasn't carried. Very lucky there. 19 for 1. Off 19 for Brown, 3 off 10 for Paul. Paul just trying to get themselves in admittedly. Did set pretty well, that is 4. tongs in this um this session they have to have a lead of around 300 and something to try and win this game they, they are hunting for first class wins 9 of 31 at the moment brown brown just beats the diving fielder moves into the 40s Seven off 36. Brown ball. So I can play that support knock at the moment. We we'll have to get on with it too. It's a dicey run. That's going to be run out. Direct hit. And you've run out Brown. 40 out of 37. Carson Murray in. Now looking to play their natural game. Just to attack. We wanted to build on that 94. All gone for 19. So it's a bit teetering a wee bit for the Leeward Islands. Andrew gone as well, 77 for 4, we've just got to dig deep again, we've just got to reevaluate where we're at. Oh, Jordan has got the wicket again, and that is Murray, 80 for 5, all of a sudden. Tower's got the edge, and this is not looking good, we may have to just... Bat as many overs out as we can and just hope that whatever we get is enough. 100 up, but 6 wickets down. percent Every run's going to be valuable for the Leeward Islands. We have collapsed a little bit admittedly. A little bit on the class of Spencer and the lower order again. But it's just 232. A bit of swing involved. 34 break. Devastating. Um, so it looks like the Adolf's team may be back in the contention to win this game. All of a sudden. Still going to be a hefty chase to get on the last sort of day. Leave it in it for the bowlers. Four overs left in this session. It's 
This is good from Norman Spencer. It's exactly what I want from the all rounder. 40 off 50. He's contributed again to getting us into a position where the bowler's going to have enough on the board to defend. Sweetly timed. One away from back to back 50s and probably the third 50 in the campaign. Brilliant for Norman Spencer. He has really stood up. Unsung hero of this game. Not the bat, certainly. Day three, 174 for eight. Spencer 53. 12 to Cummins. Early wickets on day four. Spencer goes for 53. 175 uh, for nine. Mitchell, 184, 289 the lead. Every run is golden at the moment. It's going to be an interesting um, run chase. And the run chase is about to begin. Jordan will clean up here, and Mitchell gone for seven. 299 the lead, and 300 to win. It's going to get in good channels, cause some problems. Uh, we will pitch it up here and um, ask Mitchell. Good area in Cummins. Cummins has just taken only the two wickets in their career. But again, getting that opportunity to maybe shine a little bit in this innings. Let's get the wicket of Brathwaite. Great start with the ball. And Mitchell will strike as well. McCarskey gone. He's gone for five. The only bowler's doing a fantastic job. Bowled extended spells. Marley in now. On that career best um, spell. 32 for 2 after 24 overs. So we are going to try and be super aggressive here. We are hunting for wickets. Spencer a little bit expensive. Um, we're just going to tone it back a wee bit. Marley, tone it back a wee bit as well. exceptionally fit for doing this. 200 to win. It's going to be an interesting um, finale here. Carson Murray coming in to bowl a couple of um, off breaks. He's got the wicket. Key wicket to a Smith for 80 off 145. Very established um, wee innings. Spencer will strike as well. So just on the stroke of uh, T. Maitos has just lost a couple. Hundred and eleven to win. Still anyone's game. Cummins will just strike at the right time. His second wicket is best for ever figures now. Lyndon will go for eighty six. Just cannot break through and has broken through so at the will that wicket in 226 for six 74 to win 62 minutes left in the game Cummins Cummins are getting it right now Barnes gone for 35 Spencer will strike two wickets to get and we've got 36 minutes to get them. It's going to be in the right channels here. Give ourselves a shot here. 45 to win. It's going to be late drama. There is going to be late drama. Mitchell will get the wicket of Philip. Who is going to be the man that strikes? Cummins, the left hander. Ah, they just hold on for a thrilling draw. And we just miss out again. A grand effort in the scheme of things. But you'd have to say that was a game we could have won. And that will probably be the only first class game we have of the season. Um, we will be back with the season review. So smash the like button, share with a friend. We'll see you next time for more Leeward Island Cricket.